This is Salix Discolor, a member of the Willow family, Salicaceae. And this particular one, uh, you know, has pushy willow. And you can see, of course, now the, uh, the, the, the things that we love in the spring, those, those are actually male, the buds of the male catkins uh, that show. And here on this particular branch here, you can see the um, pussy well, and then one of them has actually matured and sent out its uh, um, individual flowers. Those are all individual flowers. They're the staminate flowers, the male flowers, and all they consist of basically is two stamens and then hair and then a bract at the base. So that's the entire so, um, individual flower. There are no petals, there are no sepals. So it's imperfect and incomplete. And, and actually, you know, as, as basic as you can get uh, in terms of a flower. As, as, uh, and there, there, there are, again, there are many here. Over here, this one, you can see the, the uh, anther sacs are yellow. They're tight and they're very tight. This is a fairly young catkin. That's what we call it, this inflorescence here. And this is a much older one. And you can see that the filaments are much longer and extended. But each individual flower consists basically of just two of those stamens with a bract. I don't know whether you can see the any of these with, with the bracts in here. The, the little dark areas are the bracts. And this, which is the male flower, the, the stamina flower, is on one particular plant. And over here, these are the female flowers. And they are on a completely different plant. So this, the so the salix here is what we call dioecious. It has imperfect flowers of both pis in one in one plant it has the stamina flowers, and in one hand one plant it has all of the uh pistillate flowers, the female flowers, the male flowers, the female flowers. So these guys prefer, are going to produce the pollen, but they are in a separate plant. They, that pollen has to fly and get onto these here. Um, and in some, in some of the uh, members of this family, there are actual, there are petals and, and they, but these, these are actually and obviously windborne. And, and kind of revert back to a much more primitive type. Okay, now here are the female flowers. Again, uh, in, in fluorescences, this is again a catkin, a pistolate catkin. And here you can see more plainly what I'm talking about. See those, that kind of darker dot down here, that's a scale. So each individual flower consists of a scale, a fair amount of hair, and, an, and a single pistil. That's the whole flower. And the, and the pistil actually, if you can notice on some of the, very subtle, but there are two little stigma arms or style arms come out up on each one. So that, the, that each pistil is basically a compound pistil of two carpels. So that basically, so that's what you got here. And you can see, I think, you know, the it's easier to see the individual, see if I can shake off an individual flower for you. I think there's one there that I've just done. It doesn't have the uh, scale, hasn't come, but that's the, that's the flower. That is basically just a single pistol and it has two uh, style arms. Uh, I, am I looking at it correct? Yes, I think so. And that's, so that's as much as I can show you, but it gives you a sense of the size and how they related. And these, again, as I say, this is a dioecious plant, a plant where they have two separate plants on the, in the same species of, of a 
of a male of a male flower and a female flower. 